Now, a few weeks ago I talked about protecting your camera, expensive camera, at the beach or by the pool with an ex non-expensive Ziploc bag. I want to talk today about if you wanted to get a little bit more serious. I have this case, these Dissy Pack, Dicka Pack, I'm not sure how you say it, um, that is a waterproof housing. Costs about 70 bucks and can hold a T4i, T5i, or 5D Mark III. So, uh, let's, I'm going to share a couple pictures that I've taken in the last few days with this, and uh, then we'll take it inside and look at it in more detail. <music> Okay, so I've taken the 5D Mark III out of here. That's usually what I'm shooting with inside this Dicka Pack. Now, this is the WPS10 waterproof case for SLRs, DSLRs. Um, and it is, it comes in and out um, with a little bit of wiggling. This, you, this is the space you have to enter it. Now you could, the front of this comes off, this does screw off right here. So you could put the body in, put the lens in and it would fit a little bit easier, but it certainly fits, um, but it is a little bit of a squeeze to get it in. Once it's in, there's plenty of room, almost too much room. In fact, it would be nice if it was a little bit more snug in there. They have give you multiple foam panels down here at the bottom that um, allow you to adjust the height. And I'm thinking about putting a rock or two down in there, or at least a metal plate to give it a little bit more weight. And I'll talk about why in just a second. So. It seals up like a Ziploc bag right at the very top, and I'm just going to do this if I had a camera in here. Well, here, let's put let's put the Canon T5i with 18 to 135 in here. So it goes face down, and as you get it down in there, you need to turn it to get it out into the lens section. So it's sitting down in there now on the side and you can see it on the back. So then you should squeeze out as much air as possible, zip up the little Ziploc piece at the top. And now if you've ever had a dry bag, um, one of those waterproof bags that you can go backpacking with or canoeing or just keeping stuff generally dry, it's very similar to that. It's a roll top and a Velcro. And that's it. And then of course you always want to make sure that this is securely fastened on the front as well. And it's a nice clean plexiglass piece right there. So how do you operate the camera when it's in here? Well, they give you this little finger hole right here and pull that back out. And all it is, is just kind of like a little rubber glove for one finger. Um, and it allows you to reach most of the camera's operations on the right hand side. So if your camera has stuff going on on the left hand side, it's going to be a lot trickier. There is no finger hole on the left hand side. Um, they also I'll give you two finger holes around the lenses and that allows you to adjust the lens, but to be honest, it's very difficult to adjust the focal length of the lens once it's in there. Um, and sometimes if you have a looser lens, you can actually kind of let it shake out and then you can just simply push it back gently using the front of the thing. I do not have very much luck um, easily maneuvering it using the little finger hole along the lens. But the camera operation is fairly decent and actually the, for something like the T5i, the touch screen still works in there. You do have to get it pressed up again. So that's nice that all of those settings are able to be able to change right there. I haven't tried touching the touch screen under the water. I'm not sure if it would still work as well, but as I said, you have this. Usually I put the camera on a much more auto mode when I'm shooting underwater. I do still shoot RAWs. That's one of the really nice things about being able to take a DSLR underwater is you can shoot RAW because your white balance usually goes pretty funky when you're underwater. And by shooting RAW, you can adjust that after the fact. But I usually go to P. Um, and I uh, P mode on the camera and I let the camera do most of the adjustments and for the 5D Mark III switching back and forth between video there's a little switch right here it can be a little awkward to make that switch happen um, but it is 
possible, and you can even review images and things of that sort. It becomes even easier with the T5i. I'm not, obviously not reviewing images underwater, but above them. Now, how waterproof is it? Well, I have had this now for about eight months, and I've used it about a dozen times, and I haven't had any problems with it. It's, it is a little scary. These seams here don't feel the most robust, and I think this would be a good fail point if it's going to fail. I just carefully put it in the water each time I use it, and I um, then look and uh, watch for bubbles and watch for any wetness inside the camera or inside the housing. And um, when I don't see that, then I start using it. And now I'm fairly gentle with it as I use it, uh, but um, it's you know survived several squishes in suitcases and multiple trips in all kinds of water. And then I just give it a quick rinse when I'm done. For 65 bucks, it's not bad, and the fact that it's not only waterproof, but obviously, if you take it to the beach, your camera is completely protected and it's not going to get sand in anywhere. Um, and, you know, just that generally having that better peace of mind, if you're shooting those, uh, those color bomb color runs, this would be another great use for that as well. That color stuff is terrible and gets everywhere in the camera. So as I said, this is the Dika Pack WPS 10 waterproof case. They make a variety of them, um, but this one is their larger one for larger DSLRs, and I'm quite happy with it and think it's a decent value. Certainly, if you want a much more serious waterproof for underwater diving, those things often cost uh, more than the price of the camera, uh, or at least a couple thousand dollars, quite expensive. If you have any questions about this or other waterproof camera options, I'd be happy to answer them. Just leave a comment down below or come over and find me on Facebook. Thanks for watching.